On any given game day, this uniquely shaped ball evens the field between teams of destiny go, Pat, go. and perennial losers. Go Bears. Although on paper, the better team often wins, only one other thing can swing the advantage to the home team, the fans. <laughs> the sitting president addressed the United States of America, right, from the Oval Office to talk about ISIS and terrorism. People were watching football. Lambeau, where are we going? Lambeau Field. God bless America. Viva, Viva la, la France. France. It's American football, the way that we view it, and the way in which we sort of, um, you know, idolize it is very cultural. They become patriotic events. People stand up, put their hand over their hearts, and listen to somebody sing before a football game. I mean, th the rituals that are embedded in the sports culture are huge. John Baum, diehard Packers fan, has been recognized on the Packers webpage, in the Packers fan book, and in ESPN magazine for his undying love of the team. But I do remember our dad, God bless him, getting tickets when I was 14 and going to games as a young kid. Um, it became so intriguing that it, to this day it still burns through me when I go there. I always say, thank you, Dad. Within American culture, we start off in a very compar competitive world. As children, we are told to be the best, to get to win, um, especially amongst young boys. If you think about ritual in a wider formation, it's hugely important for culture. Um, it's something that gives us meaning. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the ritual of watching things at certain times ties into you know, our sense of history. You know, I, I remember watching this game at this time of the year with my father, and he did it with his father, and that's meaningful. There's a lot of favorite Packer memories because I'm a diehard Packer fan. But uh, some of the best was with the, the old boys in the 60s, Jerry Kramer and them, uh, the way they played and just did things differently. And then five years ago, I got to golf with Jerry Kramer and his daughter at a cancer outing and I wish I'd had a recorder that day because my, he was by far the neatest guy on earth. I mean, it was something else. The stories he told about Lombardi and the different players and Thurston and those, it was awesome. But uh, my favorite Packer memories would be going to Packer games, anyone. I love it. When we lionize these, these these athletes and these athletic heroes, um, when they do then do something wrong, let's say with the Ray Rice example, um, with you know Michael Vick, you know all of those things, it's so hard for people then to um, not come to their defense. A lot of people view um, these sports conferences as microcosms of society in a way, right? So um, I'm a big baseball fan, and I view baseball as, again. Um, kind of representative of where we are as a society. So I think a lot of people view those arguments of saying, well, if we don't um, penalize someone for domestic violence inside the sport itself, then that's representative of wider systemic issues in society. So it comes to be this mirror where if we let this pass, this shows that we let this pass in general. Packer fans have such a deep devotion that when the surface of Lambeau Field was changed in 1997, packages of the frozen tundra were sold to diehard fans who had to have a piece of the hallowed ground for their altars. Some people view sport as a religion, and I would argue that there are a lot of similarities between the two. Me and the wife have been going now for 32 years. We always try to take something silly along, and you know, and if we get on TV, good. If not, make people smile, make them laugh, and make them go, whoa, what's with that guy? <laughs> that is their worship. That is their Sunday. It's a way for people to avoid the horror and atrocities that are going on in this world. The very idea that it's meaningful for me to think that I wore this jersey at this game, therefore when I do it again, you know, I'm connected to this wider kind of meaning structure. So that sense of meaning making, again, is a huge part of being and feeling like you're part of a wider culture. Do you have any other goals as a fan, maybe dreams of Yeah, making enough where I could go to the Super Bowl and wear one there. <laughs>
one of the reasons we become fans is because it's the one thing that sort of brings a lot of different groups together. Uh, and I think a lot of us can uh, rally around different sorts of sports teams, even if we disagree on any sort of thing, regardless of political spectrums. Sport is at the heart of culture. Um, I think there's a lot of different cultural formations that give us, give us a sense of our identity. Sport is one of those. Although there are many theories, for the Cheesehead Nation it's simple, it's instinctual. When it's game time, the thrill of Titletown and the Tundra takes over, and everything else fades away.